we are. Welcome. Got two boxes here, or two mailers really, to open today. You know what this is, or what these are, from the thumbnail. It is the latest in the New Order Definitive Edition reissues. Their third studio album, Low Life, the Definitive Edition box set. That'll be in this rather more heavier box that I can't really hold up for long with one hand. And what's come in this separate mailer is the associated 12-inch re-release singles. So we'll get these open first and then we'll have a proper look into the box set afterwards. So these came today, I'm recording this on the day of release of this set and these singles, Friday the 27th of January, but this video will be going up over a week after that just because I've got other things being released on the channel first. So I won't be the first person showing these items on YouTube, I'm sure. I'm really excited, happy that this has come on release day as it means I can get cracking into the low life box set. That's the main thing, the main event over the weekend and uh, I can listen to the singles as well. Right, let's get this open. All these, by the way, were from the official New Order online web store. I think I can manage to get this open without a knife. So I can't remember the prices. I think altogether as a bundle, there wouldn't be much change out of 200 but it's always the case there is a lot of stuff in the box set particularly though I think that's everything out of that mailer the first single the one on top is this edition of New Order's first single from Low Life The Perfect Kiss uh, a very reflective cover this it's got an embossed cover as well you might just be able to tell at the bottom here now this edition of the Perfect Kiss 12 inch single is actually a New Order online exclusive as it's a clear vinyl edition. I did think about getting this one open to show you but I mean I've shown clear vinyl on the channel before and I'll no doubt show it again in the future. So just to keep this video moving along I'm just going to quickly show you all these singles. The rest is on black vinyl anyway. Uh, this is the one that you can only get via the New Order web store. This cover itself is a little bit different from the original replica or the replica of the black vinyl 12 inch single that's also out. Some people would have got both but I didn't want to just the limited edition one. The exclusive if you will was good enough. So that's Perfect Kiss. And then the second single, final single from Low Life that came out is Subculture. Very plain sleeve this, nothing really to get overly excited about. On the back we see that the B-side is Dub Vulture, which if you couldn't guess is a dub mix of subculture. Oh by the way, the B-side I believe on Perfect Kiss is Kiss of Death, which is like an instrumental, I don't know if you'd class that as a dub version, maybe. But there we go, Subculture and Perfect Kiss from Low Life. And also, a single that originally wasn't on an album, unless you count the Pretty in Pink movie soundtrack, is Shell Shock. So this was a non-album single from New Order that came out 85, I think this was. Or was it early 86? There is dates on the back. These are pretty faithful replicas, really. In fact, I will get my glasses actually just to check on that because I probably need my glasses again when I'm diving into the box set. 86, it's got the date on here, so yeah, it'll be early 86. 86 was when the fourth studio album Brotherhood came out, but that would have been later on that year, and um, that is obviously not the album we're looking at today. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that's going to get released. Um, this low life set here and these singles, this is the first definitive edition that's come out from New Order since um, Power Corruption and Lies, which was, was that about three years ago now? I think it was getting off three years. So there's been quite a gap between these, but I'm glad that they've got back to them. I mean, New Order have released stuff in the meantime. The Joy Division album still got a reissue about a year ago. 
then they released the Education Entertainment Recreation live album, which also had a super deluxe edition. Um, that was about two years ago, so better late than never if you can say it's late. Right then, so here's the big old box set itself. I may have been better off possibly getting this pre-opened before I started, but I didn't, so hopefully I won't have any major calamities here. Both of these mailers came in out of plastic, like a thick plastic bag, by the way. I did make sure that was open and taken off before I started. Right, I'm hoping if I just score this down here, then I can get this open nice and easy. Here we go. Ooh. There it is. The New Order Low Life Definitive Edition. I really, really like these sets. I've seen some New Order fans online say that they're inessential, these. And if, yeah, you literally only want the albums and you've already got them, fair enough. But it's a Definitive Edition box set, so it's going to contain so much more than just the album. I've shown you the Movement and Power Corruption and Lies editions of these on the channel. Please go back and have a look for my music collecting playlist if you want to see those unboxings as I show them both in pretty fine detail. What I like on the back here is just the list of everything that's on it. It'll be good to keep that list handy actually as I open this box and go through each of the items with you. Let me get this cellophane off. It's quite thin cellophane this actually, which is good. So I'll just put this sheet in front of me. I'll put this into the box itself later on. I always like the texture of these as well. Factory Records re-released some, not just New Order and Joy Division, but there's a few other of their acts as well. Some of their most iconic albums on cassette, in, it would have been in the mid to late 80s. And um, the boxes, I've got one, I've got New Order's Substance 1987 on cassette in this sort of hessian feeling box set and it's very similar to this. This perhaps doesn't feel quite as premium, although that item, the uh, hessian Substance cassette set that I've got is obviously a lot older and uh, it doesn't look mint anymore, but it wouldn't do being of that age. Let's get this open. So the top lid just slides off. The set's got one of those handy ribbons in it, so you can get stuff out easy enough. So let's start with what's on top, and that is the album on vinyl. Well, I like that it's come in an anti-static bag. And just like the original, it's got like this sort of almost tissue paper type of cover to it. Beautiful. I'm not going to fiddle with it too much because I don't want to make it less than mint. I've got this album on CD, had it for many years. First time I've owned it on vinyl and that's why I'm waiting for Brotherhood and Technique to be released in these definitive edition box sets really so that I can own those on vinyl for the first time. But Low Life is another one ticked off for the New Order collection. Next we have... Uh, I love these, I love these so much. Hardback book, you get one of these included in every New Order Definitive Edition set so far. I mean, I can't do it justice and show you, but it's just full of beautiful photographs covering this period of the band's career. Amazing. It's proper coffee table quality, this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sat here flicking through it, I just want to be reading that and looking at it already. We're at the bottom of the box, there won't be anything underneath, but we've got all our smaller discs here. So, um, first one is just basically a replica of the LP, but on CD, so it doubles up, so now I've got two CDs, because I've got my other CD that I've had for years. That's handy if you just want to have the LP and keep that mint and not play it. You've still got the CD if you so wish to play that in the set as well. And I like how it's just essentially the same tissue paper design as the LP. Next we've got what is often for me the exciting part of this box set. Not for the way it looks but for what's on it. It is a CD of low life extras. So I am going to get my glasses on. But there'll be a lot of stuff here that's never come out before, at least not officially still quite difficult to read the text it being white on a dark grey but there's a instrumental edit of love vigilantes a writing session recording of perfect kiss there's something that's untitled 
there's alternate and early versions of Subculture, Sooner Than You Think, Face Up, Let's Go, another version of Love Vigilantes, a demo of Skull Crusher, which, like Let's Go, was on the Salvation film soundtrack in 1987, I think that came out. Just to get that out there. Probably not an awful lot to look at relating to the CD. Yeah, lovely stuff. So for the New Order fans who refuse to buy this because they think, oh well, it's just repackaging for the sake of it. And let's face it, there's a lot of bands and acts and record labels that do that. I mean, David Bowie's stuff seems to get reissued all the time currently, and that's fine if you're a Bowie fan and you want to go all in and get these 50th anniversary reissues and stuff. I'm a massive New Order fan, they've been my favourite band for a long time and always will be, so I'm all in on this kind of thing really, and you get a lot more for your money I would argue with something like this. Finally we've got the two low life DVDs, so that these are going to have live performances on them. On this one the first performance is live in Tokyo from 1985. I'm wondering if that'll be the same performance in Tokyo that I've already got on DVD. It was released originally on VHS by Factory, pumped full of drugs it was called, but they actually played two nights in Tokyo and only one of them got released on video and then eventually, many years later, DVD. I've got a feeling it might be the other Tokyo night actually. Yeah, it was a fairly different set and I don't remember them playing stuff like Confusion and Blue Monday on Pump Full of Drugs, so this might be exclusive to this set, maybe, I don't know, I would have to double check on that. And then there's a live in Rotterdam performance, some of these live concert performances, you can tell it's just someone standing at the side of the stage with an old camera, they don't look particularly great, but as a kind of historical artefact of New Order, you know, they're very rare and exclusive to this set. And then there's a little three song set at the Hacienda in 1985 that was recorded for Whistle Test. I think I may have seen the performances of that before. Just a quick look at the inner sleeve of this DVD and the disc itself, but not a lot to look at really. And we've got the second DVD here that's got Live in Leuven, Belgium from 1985. Another fairly full set there. So loads of live stuff. Live in Toronto from the International Centre in Toronto, Canada, also from 85. And then finally there's rehearsal room footage of The Perfect Kiss from Cheatham Hill, Manchester. That presumably will be extended footage taken from the promo video shoot that Jonathan Demi directed. Jonathan Demi, of course, was the director about four or five years later of The Silence of the Lambs. So there we are, so that's the box set. Once again, I think New Order and Warner Music have done a fantastic job here. That's the New Order Low Life Definitive Edition box set, New Order's third studio album. Not my very favorite New Order album. It is a lot of people, so a lot of people think this is really peak New Order. And while it is a brilliant album, there is others that I prefer to this, but I'm just really all in on these Definitive Edition sets. They're so good. And of course, I always have to get the reissued singles that come out to coincide with the box set. A quick reminder of those being Perfect Kiss, Subculture and Shell Shock. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed this look at this box set of New Order goodness. It's come out today, you're seeing it a week and a bit after the fact, simply because of scheduling constraints, but I hope you enjoyed looking at it with me nonetheless. I want to say special thanks as always to my wonderful subscribers and my generous patrons. Please see my Patreon link, my Facebook group link and lots of interesting referral links down in the description text box. I'm gonna go now and what to start with. I think I normally, what I've done when I've got the movement and power corruption and lies sets, I've started with the 12 inch singles first because it never takes long to listen to a single. And then um, I will find some time over this weekend and really immerse myself in the low life box set itself. Listen to the album again, which I've heard a hundred times before. I'm really excited for this extra CD 
and some of those live performances which it might be a bit overkill there being so many split over two DVDs but even so it's footage that mostly for the most part I will have never seen before and I can't wait and I do hope that you will all join me again next time for my next box set unboxing and record collecting video cheers everyone See ya!